everyone, my name is Natalie. Today I wanted to do the uh, April announcement for Invisible Cities. So very briefly, Invisible Cities is a reading project that I'm doing with six other people. I will link all of the hosts below. Um, and the idea behind the project is that we are going to be promoting reading translated literature and cultural exploration. That is the, the main purpose behind the project. The structure of the project itself is we select three countries each month that we will be reading books from. You can uh, read one book from one of the countries or read several books from several of the countries that is really up to you. There is no rules to this project really. We are not going to be policing what you read. Um, but the, the purpose behind the project is to encourage more reading of translated literature. Um, so uh, with the three countries structure, uh, we will always be announcing the three countries for each month, two months in advance, just so you get uh, a chance to research the books you want to read and to get a hold of them. Today I am going to be announcing the three countries for April, which are Equatorial Guinea, uh, Vietnam, and Peru. So uh, these are the three countries we'll be reading from in April. Uh, in If you've missed the previous announcements, I will link them below, but uh, at, the, at the time that this goes up, we are just starting February and the countries for February is China, Colombia, and Egypt. There is a spreadsheet that we have created with various resources, specifically tied book titles, for all of the countries that we will be reading from. If you're looking for inspiration for uh, books to read from any of the countries that we have already announced that will be coming or is already up for Invisible Cities, then definitely go check that spreadsheet out. We have, uh, we hope that that will be a very helpful resource. Let's get on to the three books that I am looking at potentially reading for the three countries in April. For Peru, the uh, probably one of the most renowned authors of this country is Mario Vargas Llosa, and I haven't read him yet, so I'm thinking of possibly reading Savers and Utopia, Visions of Latin America America, which is an essay collection. I'm definitely particularly interested in picking up some nonfiction for Invisible Cities because I don't read a lot of translated um, a lot of translated nonfiction in general. Translated by Anna Kushner. Throughout his career, Mario Vargas Llosa has grappled with the concept of Latin America on a global stage. Examining liberal claims and searching for cohesion, he continuously weighs the reality of the continent against the image it projects, and considers the political dangers and possibilities that face the diverse set of countries. So it seems like it is a combination of social commentary and history. I've been uh, interested in exploring more Latin American history in general since I have realized that, that I know very little of this continent's history and um, there's sort of shadows of it when you read Latin American literature uh, and one of the books that I just recently read definitely hinted at some of the things that uh, I feel like I want to learn more about to get a better understanding of the literature itself, the, fi the fiction from the countries. Mario Vargas Llosa is an author I've been interested in since he won the Nobel Prize and I remember seeing a talk that he did uh, on Swedish television in connection with the Nobel Prize. Um, so uh, I've been interested in him for a while and particularly this essay collection sounds intriguing to me. The book that I have my eye on for Equatorial Guinea is La Bastarda, which is written by Trifonia Melibia Obono and translated by Lawrence Schimmel. It seems like it's a fairly short book. Uh, it says the first novel by an Equatorial Guinean a Guinean woman to be translated into English and that already makes me interested because women in translation is always going to be a priority for me. Um, La Bastarda is the story of the orphaned teen Okomo who lives under the watchful eye of her grandmother and dreams of finding her father. Forbidden from seeking him out, she enlists the help of other village outcasts, her gay uncle and a gang of mysterious girls reveling in their so-called indecency. Drawn into their illicit trysts, Okomo 
finds herself falling in love with their leader and rebelling against the rigid norms of fan culture. Sounds like there's a lot of agency in the female characters in this book, which makes me very interested. Um, and I also have seen really good reviews for uh, for this one from people whose uh, taste I trust. Uh, so that makes me interested. Also, it's published by Feminist Press, which is a another reason I'm interested in this one. Lastly, we have my potential book for Vietnam. This is Memories of a Pure Spring by Duong Tu Huong and this is translated by Nina McPherson. So in general I'm interested in this author uh, but this is one of the ones I have access to through my library so that is the reason I'm mentioning it here. Um, Memories of a Pure Spring is a mesmerizing portrait of modern Vietnam and its people who struggled to survive und under the complexities of a post-war regime. Uh, during the Vietnam War, Hung, a well-known composer, becomes enchanted by the voice and beauty of a young pheasant girl named Swung. He invites her to join his troupe. She becomes his wife and his star performer. So there's already... Uh, obviously the, the modern portrait of Vietnam is a part of the reason I'm interested in this one. I, again, know very little of Vietnam's history. There's a few Vietnam books that takes much more focus on the war itself, so this one seems to be the aftermath um, and that uh, makes me more interested. And also the music theme is uh, another thing that drew me to it because I'm always going to be more interested if there's a, a central music uh, theme somehow in a um, fiction book. Those are all of the books that I wanted to mention in this announcement for April. All of the information you need will be included in the description box below, but feel free to ask one of uh, one of the hosts if there's anything that is unclear to you. Um, I hope you have been enjoying Invisible Cities if you've already joined us. Feel free to join us in the Discord, uh, the link is also below, or use the hashtag Invisible Cities Project if you are sharing your own content about your reading progress. Uh, so that's all I wanted to say today. I hope you're doing well and you're taking care of yourselves and I will talk to you soon.